This video is rated T or tickle me pink. Are you curious how I have one of the highest KDs in standard escape from Tarkov as well as the highest KD in the top 100 in the arena while using the most bugged cursed optic possible? Well, I'm going to show you guys why I still use this optic and why it's the best optic for my needs. I'm going to go over with the bugs it has and the issues it has as well as the strengths it has. So a lot of people sleep on this optic. It fills a very unique niche and enables me to just shit on people consistently. I'll also be going and looking at some objective pros and cons of some other optics because at the end of the day, there's a lot of good optics for a lot of different variables in your raids and your own playstyle. They're going to go ahead and get you more kills. So sit back, relax, crack yourself open a cold one, and let's talk about optics. Before you get too reclined, make sure to smash the dislike button and tell me to commit toaster bath in the comments down below. I just want to quickly thank the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. Before we go any farther, I actually signed a contract with them where I have boxes to give out to you guys. If you've never had HelloFresh and you live in the US, I can get you guys free food this week. Just go ahead and shoot me a message on Discord. Tell me you're interested in the HelloFresh deal. I also get paid when I give you guys free groceries. So go ahead and get in contact with me. You're doing me a favor. I'm doing you a favor. Let's continue with the video. So the flip up holographic is the cursed optic of choice. It's the optic you always see me running in my gameplay. What bugs does it have and why do I use it? Well, let's talk about bugs first and foremost. When you're in the 1x, just like normal holographic mode, it actually has more visual recoil than any other hollow. And it's an old bug that's semi-patched, but not entirely patched. The reason for this is when this optic came into the game, the 3x magnifier didn't work. Just the standard hollow was always in 3x regardless if you had a magnifier or not which led to the optic always having that 3x recoil, the 3x visual recoil, because the game needs to make up for every single level of magnification you have. You need to have more visual recoil so you're not just lasering people with fully automatic weapons from range. It, it's very similar to real life in that regard. However, once they went ahead and fixed the, the holographic so it wasn't a 3x when their magnifier wasn't on it, the 1x still had three times visual recoil. That's the reason why Pharaoh on Arena, they took away this optic because the visual recoil on the 1x hadn't been adjusted yet. So it was really, really kicky for no reason over on Arena. And that's because Arena is built on an old version of Escape from Tarkov. Now, like I said, this bug still exists. It's just like more like 1.5x today, which doesn't sound like a huge deal. And it's not because your shots are still going to be going on target where your mouse is. It's just the visual aspect of it. You're going to have a little more camera shake and it's going to be a little bit harder to acquire your targets or to track your targets when in this 1x mode. The next bug, and shout out to Operator Drewski for discovering this while we were playing. I didn't even know about this bug. I thought that this phenomenon was associated with another bug we're going to talk about, another issue, not even a bug this optic has that we're going to talk about. But when you swap between optics quickly and carry over a spray, for some reason, your bullets are going to land significantly below where the optic actually is. So this is like a floating optic. Like uh, imagine like an RMR kind of floats around in the site as you're using it. In the magnifier, you really see that where it bounces around as you're shooting. That is the end of the bugs with this optic. However, there's a lot of issues this optic still has. So it has a lot of vignetting. So vignetting is like the black ring that you get around the optic when you're like in a magnified optic it basically gets in your way you don't get as good of a picture when looking at your optic your field of view if you will is like drastically shrunk additionally the housing is a little bit bulkier than most optics in the game and you have that free floating reticle which makes it really hard to actually go ahead and get those one taps when you're magnified also like the little mill dots on it aren't very good they're not very useful and you have like a little bit of a light bleed effect the last issue this optic really shows from is when you're in the 1x variation it actually blocks a lot of your screen like where you'd normally be able to peer past the right hand side of your holographic or your scope you really can't do that with the flip up optic now this seems like a lot of problems why do i use this optic still and how do i overcome some of these issues first and foremost the reason i still use this optic is because it has a phenomenal niche where I have a perfect 1x sight. It's not a scope. It's a holographic in a 1x format. We all love to run our holographics in those 1x formats. So when I'm close and personal to someone, I'm extremely deadly. You can do phenomenally with the scopes in the 1x variations like the Razor, but I think we're all safe to admit that a holographic is just more consistent in these situations. So even with the added visual recoil, it puts me in advantage to someone who's in a scope in a 1x format. Next, the 3x format. So it has a lot of issues with spraying. I just don't spray with the 3x format realistically. Unless I'm prone and I have like very easy shots, I am never spraying while in the magnified variation. The only reason this magnifier is here is so I can quickly flip it up 
and go for an easy head tap when I have that opportunity to. Additionally, it lets me flip it up and kind of scan an area before I run across somewhere that has very little cover, for example. But the reason I use this optic is because of my playstyle. I'm a very aggressive mid to short range player. I'm not sitting really far back. I'm not getting a lot of use out of the 6x optics you see a lot of streamers use. I'm usually getting as close and personal as I can and trying to keep myself alive and play as aggressive as possible at the same time. I'm no longer a mindless W keyer. I know people call me Tarkov's original Chad, but that play style is kind of dead. Just sprinting at people and trying to out aim everyone. It just doesn't work anymore. And if, if I can't do it with a little professional FPS player's aim, then you probably can't too. And the W key play style is simply dead in my opinion. Another reason I've chosen to lean on the EOTech is it forces me to go ahead and be very precise with my shots because of these recoil issues. So when I'm in that 1x format, I need to make sure my shots are already going to be on target. When I'm in magnify, I need to make sure I'm hitting those taps right away. And this makes me reserve my ammo, puts me in a way better situation when I'm taking on squads so I don't have to reload as much. And it gives me a way higher headshot percentage rate, which led to me having the highest KD in the top 100 in arena. There's been another buff this wipe towards the holographic and a lot of other optics. And that's when you swap to your left shoulder It'll really fix the vignetting on most optics and it also stops the optic from being so bouncy and you'll see those are two issues the holographic really had when it was in its magnified variation it's made it even easier for me to make longer range shots now so that's been a hidden buff and it's also brought some other optics up to speed but that's it at the end of the day it just fits a very nice niche use and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some other optics that fill very nice niche uses that you might be sleeping on by the way, if you guys are looking for people to play with, make sure to join the Discord in the description down below. We have tons of crews rolling every single day. Lots of good guys in there that'll help you with quests or just run raids with you if you look for some people to play Tarkov with. I personally hop in there and play with everyone myself, so if you'd like to play games with me, that is the spot. So it's discord.gg forward slash took me pink. Now I just want to go ahead and state that yes, like the holographic is a very meta 1x site. Things like the Razor Vortex are a very meta 6x site that I feel like every single person knows about. And we're not going to talk about this today. They're very expensive for a reason. They're very meta. And I want to show you guys some interesting optics that fill new niches that will enable you to make cool builds or change your play styles and fundamentally make you a better player and make you survive more. I'll probably get put on blast for some of these opinions, but at the end of the day, these are just up to personal preference. Some optics are objectively better. However, you can go a long ways by creating your own play style with these different niches you're going to be able to hit with this. And one last thing I should mention is the magnification level is very pertinent to what ranges you're going to be engaging people at. That seems like a no-brainer, however, I, the amount of times I see people that have a 6x optic that are really only taking engagements at 50 meters away blows my mind. You do not need to go ahead and look at that guy's pores. The first niche I want to talk about is the very like mid-range niche. There's not very many optics that are in this niche. So up first, we have the Monstrum. It's a 2x optic. It has a black and a red variation with the dot, which is nice so you can run it at night. It has a really nice sight profile. It only has that 2x capability. That's all it's capable of. So you're really looking to just get those mid to short range engagements. You can pop some further range shots at people and kill them, but it's really going to shine in the mid to short range combat. The next optic I want you guys to be aware of is actually the prism. So a lot of people don't even know this optic exists in the game. That's because it goes on the ACOG mount, but it is actually a really niche use. It's a 2.5. It has a really nice dot. It does have an obvious drawback. It has like this like really crazy like sci-fi bright red ring around it. You don't want to bring this to a nighttime raid and it can block your sight a little bit. But I personally love to run this on something like an ADAR or an SKS. So I'm going to be using like a DMR. I'm running a quest, I'm running and gunning, I'm going to be taking like some mid-range engagements along the way. I can pop people from a distant range, but I also am very comfortable up close with an optic like this. So the prism is another unique case use for an optic. And it's cool we're talking about all these optics today because I actually just published the best builds you could be running in the Escape from Tarkov with the current wipe. These budget builds are insane. I'm talking like a fully modified AK-12 for 70,000 rubles, a TX-15 with all the bells and whistles for also 70,000 rubles and we talk about using an optic of your choice in that video so go ahead and watch that when you're done watching this video it's in the top right right now another niche optic in this is the trihawk the trihawk is the only other 3x magnified optic in the game besides the flip up optic and it is a phenomenal optic it looks really good it has a really nice dot on it or i guess it's a chevron rather but you're going to like this for a little bit more zoom on that mid-range. And try these out. Just see which one works for you. 
Speaking of 3Xs though, this one's going to get me a lot of flack and I personally, I cannot get around to using this optic, but it does have a very niche use and some people dominate with this optic. It's a very, very niche off meta pick and I'm just going to tell you guys about it. Me personally, I, I can't stand it, but you might actually enjoy it. And that is the NC Star. So this is brown optic and the reason why it has this really great niche use is it has a 3x zoom as well as a 9x zoom so the 3x is a very unique profile to have in any optic in this game and maybe even in real life i don't know i don't own any expensive optics in real life so maybe some of you guys can tell me about that but it really works well in escape from tarkov with the engagements we tend to get in the 9x is just there for you to pop some shots like this is very much like a, a dmr optic something with a very high moa something like a built r sas you'd put this on you have these awful red dots on like the mill dots just look like they went crazy like they had like a fucking mukbang or something but besides that it's a very unique profile another optic that i want a lot of people to start trying to use is the acog so there's two variations of the acog in the game there's a very cursed version and it's ironic i say that because you know my optic is pretty cursed but it's like a weird cursed knockoff one it doesn't even have a chevron it just has like a red triangle in the middle of it and it's all fucked up it has like a lot of vignetting so Personally, I wouldn't recommend that one. You can if you want to. It is a unique zoom for sure. And let me know how it goes. But for me, like the red triangle just really blocks my shots a lot. I need to see a little bit more than that. But the other variations of the ACOG, there's a tan and a black one. These are 4Xs and they have this nice yellow crosshair. It is one of the best 4X pictures in the game. The only drawback for this is this is kind of like a DMR exclusive site because you can only put irons on top of this thing or like a very floaty RMR and you also have height over bore issues. So this is going to be a very niche case use for your DMRs. But when I do get it on my DMR, I love it. You'll see me running it on the TX-15 in that best budget build series. An optic that probably all of you guys can get behind is actually the Elk Inspector. So the Elk Inspector used to have a lot of issues with vignetting. They've changed that to a degree. And then you also have the left shoulder swap now. And it's just a 1x4x. It looks a lot like the Razor Vortex to an extent. I would just say it's kind of like a cheaper Razor Vortex with a different sight profile. It works really well with assault rifles that might want to tap at like a 4x range and also spray in that 1x format and i know a lot of people have been having good success with this optic this wipe so don't sleep on the elk inspector for a different 4x option i'm gonna let you go ahead and tell you guys to use the bravo it's a little bit of a weird one it's a little bit of a tarkov og optic you can have some success with it it's gonna have some height over bore issues just like the acog did however you can slot a delta point in it and a delta point is a phenomenal 1x you're just gonna have like i said that weird height over bore issue when using this and all these optics I'm mentioning I mean they do have problems and that's kind of what you get by getting new advantages right so it'll put you in better situations for those 4x situations where you're easily gonna be able to pop people a lot of times these things are also cheaper too so you're saving yourself money while using these the next optic I want to go ahead and mention is the Valde airwing marine loves the Valde it has its issues it's a little bit floaty I'm not in love with the crosshair but it's a really great budget option for a 1x6. You've been playing since like, you know, 2017, 2018. It's a little bit of an OG optic. It was added with labs and you might have a sweet spot in your heart and you may just feel comfortable in your hands. A lot of the Tarkov babies really don't know what <laughs> Tarkov was like with all like the cursed optics back in the day. These two optics I'm going to tell you guys about are very meta, but I just think not a lot of people know about them yet. You might already know about them though, however, and that's the Tango 6. It's a uh, it's a new 1x6x. It's a lot like the Razor Vortex. They're almost interchangeable, I would say. And that comes with the Sig Spear and it also the Boss Optic. It's like the, it's not the Hugo Boss Optic, but that's what people call it. This is a really great holographic. You're going to pay a premium to get it. I'm talking like 70,000 rubles. If you have the money to throw at these, these are also very, I mean, they do fulfill their niches and they're great optics. I just don't think a lot of people know about them yet. If you're going to go ahead and use the boss optic, you can actually turn on like a laser mode on it. And I like to use this like forbidden boob. It looks like like a seventh grader made a boob out of like keyboard characters. I like to use that as my dot. We spoke about it briefly in this and also talked about it in my budget build series. But the delta point, you just need like a very cheap 1x. It's a phenomenal 1x. Go ahead and give that a try and let me know what you think of it it's like the best budget holographic you're ever going to get your hands on speaking of kind of like off meta holographics the other two ones i'm going to recommend are the romero 8 as well as the uh1 they're a little bit niche but they do feel really good give them a try maybe save yourself some money on some holographics but get out there and actually experiment with these builds guys like i know a lot of you guys you, you know you actually contribute to society unlike myself and you don't have all day to play escape from tarkov i don't know maybe you go outside I don't, but 
you will have significantly more fun in Escape from Tarkov by going ahead and trying a lot of these niche optics and seeing if they actually fit your playstyle. Think about the maps you're playing, the weapons you like to use, and if any of these niche optics could actually go ahead and amplify that playstyle and make it easier for you to get kills and survive more. If you guys haven't watched this video already, go watch this video on how to pack your magazines like a professional and do more damage, secure more kills, save money and have less recoil. It is crazy. And if you made it this far, consider subscribing.